Hey guys, Coach Soy here. Um, I want to make some videos, get us on the same page here. We could be a little more efficient, have more success on the football field this season. Uh, right now, we're going to go over formations. We only have three main formations here. Um, I, make, I didn't cover this on practice, but I'm always going to talk about the LOS. That stands for line of scrimmage. I would say the LOS, okay? So um, the first player we're going to talk about is the center. Uh, and the QB. It pretty much stays there about four yards apart. First formation is ace, all right? We have the L and the R, okay? So the R is always to the right, L is always to the left. In ace formation, a no back set, there's going to be a wing, and then there's going to be the half back's going to be set up like that. So wing to the right, half back to the left. The next formation will be rip. It's pretty easy, guys. Rip stands for right. I mean, the wing is to the right, I is for I formation, and you bring the half back down there about three yards. So four yards, center to QB about four yards, then that's about three yards right there. So that is rip, and the R, right, stands for that wing being to the right. And then the Liz, L for Liz, the wing just goes to the left, okay? So if I say ace, right, half back is up here. If I say rip, wing is to the right, H. If I say Liz, wing is to the left. That's it. One more formation, we'll probably call it kings or kings right. It'll be the same idea if I say kings right, three kings, think just kings right. I want to move into this situation right there. We'll bring the left over. That will be kings. I'm not sure if we're allowed to run that type of formation. I have to check. We should be able to, but I really like that formation. Let's not worry about that one right now. Let's make sure we understand the left, right, wing, QB. That'd be Rip. That's Liz, right? And then Ace, wing is right. There we go. All right? That is our formations.